with Brent here from Building the Exit. Today, I'm going to assemble the new hubs. Still waiting on parts from the powder coater, uh, but in the meantime, I got some assembling to do. So, what I'm going to focus on right now is showing you guys removal of these factory studs from the hub and installing new ARP extended wheel studs. Also uh, sealed bearings onto the new hub and then reinstalling into the knuckle. So I have here uh, some hubs I got from Napa. They are a Dorman rear hub. Now stock bolts are on it, stock wheel studs. I am going to be using ARP extended wheel studs on all four corners because I do, I may not, but I do plan on running spacers on my exoset just because I have not seen a lot of zero offset wheels that I like that are in the, the weight category that I'm wanting to run. So I'm going to be installing these longer ARP wheel studs so that I can use spacers if needed. So first thing I need to do is press these uh, stock size wheel studs out of the hub. The stock wheel studs are removed. Now it is time to insert these extended ARP studs into this hub. I've already done one and I tried first with the shop press to press these studs in. It may just be this Dorman part, but the inner diameter here for the wheel stud in these Dorman hubs is really not quite correct for the ARP stud size. They will go in, as you can see um, from the one I've already completed, but I was not able with a 12 ton shop press to press these in these studs. So what I did in this case was basically uh, insert the wheel stud, then grabbed a big old uh, pile of fender washers and the old lug nut and used an impact to press these into the hub. Wheel studs are all on. Uh, lug nuts get pretty chewed up. That's why I use an old lug nut. You can see these fender washers get really distorted uh, pretty bad. Uh, like I said, these hubs I do not think are the correct size for this uh, type of ARP stud. But luckily none of the threads are damaged. Lug nuts still screw on straight. Um, everything looks good there. Just a pretty chewed up lug nuts, so these are throwaways after you're done, so be sure to use an old one. Next part is getting your new bearing. This is a uh, Napa, I'm not sure what brand, I don't see any labeling on here, but I received this from Napa, it's a completely sealed hub bearing. This hub bearing now needs to be inserted into the knuckle. Now, it will get inserted and then it will seat against this ring here. Then there's a groove here on top and you will know when the bearing is fully seated into the knuckle when there's enough room to get this snap ring to seat into that groove there in the hub. So make sure you apply wheel bearing grease to the outside of this bearing and to the inside of the knuckle here uh, to help ease in the bearing into the hub. Also basically how I'm going to be doing this part here that I found was easiest is once I get those greased up I will be taking the old bearing, setting it on top, and using a piece of wood you'll see in the video here to beat this bearing into the hub. And basically as I go around I will be trying to hit all four corners to help um, ease it in one at a time. You don't want to try to force it all in from one side because you don't want it to damage the uh, I guess you would call it race or whatever on the on the knuckle here while you're inserting the bearing. Oh, 
see the groove, the bearing is fully inserted. Also from this end you can tell because there is no gap on the edge here. So once that's fully been inserted, then the next step is to go ahead and take your snap ring and insert it here into the groove and that will seal the bearing in. Okay, now the snap ring is seated into the bearing, into the hub I mean, or knuckles, sorry. And the hub bearing is now completely sealed in there. Now the next step is going ahead and inserting the new hub into the wheel bearing. Okay, so once again, take some bearing grease, some wheel bearing grease, and grease this hub. And also take a little grease and apply it to the inside of your bearing. Okay, so when you're all completed, you should have something that looks like this. Basically wheel bearing with extended ARP studs, new bearing, all finished. All right, thanks for watching this video. I hope that helped you guys out. It's a pretty easy thing to do. Uh, getting the parts back from the powder coater here in the next day or two, I just got to run over and pick them up. And then I will be showing the installation of Zerk fittings and the polyurethane energy suspension bushings in the rear control arms. Thanks again for watching. And if you like my stuff, once again, please subscribe down below. I'd appreciate it.